name's John Burkholder. I'm here at Lake Forest Golf Center in Southern California. I'd like to introduce you to a system I've developed for practicing breaking putts and learning how to read greens. It's called the U-Power system. It basically consists of three different U's that go around the hole. Each one is a different radius depending on the severity of the break going to the hole. What we're going to learn is how to develop a path to the hole. There's a certain door to each hole on a breaking putt. And if you develop the path correctly to the hole, you got a good chance of dropping it in. And we're trying to make all these. So what we're going to do is start with approximately a 20-foot putt. So you just pick out any hole at random. Take about six or seven paces away. Stick a T in the ground. Just put it at an angle where you can put a loop. All these come with a particular string. You just hook it here. You read the green from here. You walk around. Pick out the slope. This one is fairly obvious to make it easiest for us to practice. Always look at your spot from the hole going back. So you can tell this is an uphill putt besides a breaking putt. So what we're going to do is pick out a spot where we think if we put parallel to that string that it will fall in the hole. So you can just lay the string down straight to start with. <coughs> what we do is mark off three spots approximately three inches closer to the holes, one there, one here. So we're going to put the balls down about the width of the putter head away from the ring. So our goal here is to put it parallel to the string. If it goes towards the string, we know we pushed it or we hit it with the blade a little bit open. If we pull it away from the string, we'll know the, the putt started to the left. You just try and put it parallel to the string at the correct speed. So you need a little bit more speed. This one's going to be a little bit bigger stroke. That one was a little bit too much. And that one was not quite enough. So we didn't make any of those, but they're all with an easy two putt, a tap in for a two putt. So what we're trying to do is identify the path into the, into the hole. So at this point, you can adjust your string depending on how accurately you set it up to start with. You might have to put it more break. One rule of thumb here is even with the tour players, 80% of the missed putts that are breaking, they miss to the low side of the hole. If you get it started to the low side of the hole, it has no chance of going in. So I think I've got that string pretty much in the, in the right place. So I'm going to take one that's marked as an 18 inch radius. This is for breaking putts from about 12 to 30 inches of break. We position that around the hole about where we think the door is going to be. Then you can just secure it around the hole with a T through one of the holes here. And the radius on this is a little bit larger than the hole, so you want the set to the high side of the hole because the ball coming in on the high side is always going to have a chance of falling in the hole. If it comes in too low, it's not going to fall uphill. And then this end of the string you can secure with another T here. Just pull the string tight. Stick it down on the ground. You're ready to go. One thing I like to do with this, I always mark my balls with a red dot on each side. I like to position it when I put it down there with that red dot to the target side. And instead of focusing randomly down there at a spot, 
my eyes are totally focused on that little red dot and all I want to do is hit that dot towards the hole. So that now I've got my direction all sorted out. The only thought I need to be thinking about is how far I want to roll the ball. That one I didn't quite hit hard enough and I got that. So I can see I had that a little bit too high. And that's our goal right there. And you'll notice on these putts, it's a perfectly straight putt, and just about all breaking putts are very straight for the first two-thirds of the distance until the ball speed starts slowing down and gravity starts turning the ball. There are obvious exceptions to that. Sometimes you're stuck with a big break in the beginning of the putt, but most of them are just basically a straight putt for about two-thirds of the distance. That was really poor. So you can see that when I pushed it towards the string and didn't hit it near hard enough. So now's the time where you might want to spend another 10 minutes doing this drill with three balls. So you're practicing direction and distance both. Now's the time to put pressure on yourself, which is what you need for effective practice is to always have pressure. You don't leave this set up till you've made three in a row from different distances. That one almost made it. That one almost made it. That one's too hard. <clears throat> which you might find helpful too if you have an uphill putt like this that's breaking and you come up short. Put a ball up there to aim at that's just a little bit past your hole. It'll help you put enough speed on the ball to get it up to the hole. Sometimes too much. still positioned wrong. Thank you.